suppose t is a linear transformation where we are given the vectors u, v, and w, and also the corresponding transformations. But notice how the vectors u, v, and w are not just any vectors in R3. These are the standard basis vectors, often referred to as the vectors e sub one through e sub three, shown here below. So vector u is really the vector e sub one, which is the vector one, zero, zero. Vector v is really the vector e sub two, which is the vector zero, one, zero. And vector w is the vector referred to as vector e sub three, which is the vector zero, zero, one. When we have the transformations of the standard basis vectors, we can easily determine the transformation matrix, where if we have a linear transformation given by t of x equals a times x, the transformation matrix is determined by the transformations of, in our case, the vectors e sub one through e sub three, where the transformation of vector e sub one gives us the first column of matrix A, the transformation of vector e sub two gives us the second column, and the transformation of vector e sub three gives us a third column of the transformation matrix. So in our case, since the transformation of vector u, which is really the vector e sub one is equal to the vector four, negative four, or five, four, negative four, or five is the first column of the transformation matrix. And because the transformation of vector v, which is the vector e sub two is equal to the vector five, negative two, five, five, negative two, five is the second column of the transformation matrix. And then finally, since the transformation of vector w, which is the transformation of the vector e sub three equals the vector zero, two, one, zero, two, one is the third column of matrix A, the transformation matrix. I hope you found this helpful.